Hey guys, good evening. Welcome to Jagashree Kitchen. Hope you all are doing good. And uh, today in Jagashree Kitchen, we are cooking egg drop curry. You can also call it as a pouch egg curry. So it's very tasty. It's uh, a bit different than normal egg curry. The main ingredients are four onions, three tomatoes, three garlic cloves, and piece of ginger, and seven raw eggs. First, we'll chop onions and tomatoes. Make them fine chopped so that it will be easy to cook. We will cook the onions and tomatoes in a pressure cooker. So I'll add one spoon of oil. The cooker is already hot, so I'll add ginger and garlic, and I'll sort them for a while. Now I add finely chopped onions. We'll add half a spoon of salt. Salt will help to cook onions faster. Chop tomatoes now and sort them. Add pinch of turmeric and add one spoon of chili powder. This is the homemade chili powder which has many spices in it. So if you are adding raw chili powder, I suggest you to add one spoon of coriander powder. Now we'll sort it for a while. Don't add water. If you add water, onions will cook slow. Keep it in pressure cooker for eight whistles. This is how tomato and onion looks after eight whistles. Take a cooking pan. Add one spoon of oil. Now in the oil, add four cinnamon sticks and three bay leaves and fresh curry leaves, and sort them. Now add tomatoes and onions from the cooker. Add half spoon of salt. Then add one cup of water. Cover the lid and keep it in medium flame and cook for 5 minutes. Here comes the interesting part. So I'll add eggs now. So break the eggs and drop them. Now we will close the lid and keep it for 7 to 8 minutes in low flame. Now it's cooked. So this is how it looks after 7 to 8 minutes. Now we will see how to make fulka. So this is a wheat dough. So I will make wheat dough balls now. So take this much of wheat dough and make them balls. Two balls are ready, so I will take one, so I will put in flour, so I will apply flour on both sides, so I will pat it, then we will flatten this. Now it is flattened, don't make it so thin, keep it big thick, so now the pan is hot, I will add to the pan. So bake it on the both the sides. So Baked on the side, you can see the bubbles there, so now flip it, flip on the other side, 